All right, ladies and gentlemen, woolly bees, this is how I deal with a laying worker hive. This hive came from that stand over there. I've tried requeening it three times to no avail. The last time they didn't even let this one lay long enough to even try. So I have bullet cells in here. This is what I mean by bullet cells. And there we are, we're in focus. These are bullet cells, they're laid in a regular worker's comb. And the larvae get so big, they have to make a what I call a 22 bullet shell. I've already shook this frame out before I decided to do the video, because I've had a couple of people ask how to deal with laying workers. This hive is to the point of it's too weak to try to sur survive. And I don't have time to fool with it. Now, if it was a stronger hive, I'd swap it with a, a strong hive for a day during the middle of the day at the uh, noon hour. Let all the foragers come back to that original hive where the queen right was, with, and they'll find that laying workers. They'll go in and kill them, and then 24 hours later, the next day at noon, I'd switch them back and introduce a queen, and it's good as gold if it's a good, strong hive. This one, like I said, used to be a good, strong hive. But it's weak now. So all I do, I just take all the frames, shake all the bees out on top of this, what they call a coffin hive. This hive has, it's actually five, seven frame nukes, but it only has three, one in each end and one in the center. You can go find that on my YouTube channel. Watch that about how I overwinter in it. I just shake them all out. Here's another frame of bullets. There's some drone comb black below it, but those are all bullets. They're still peaceful bees because somebody's laying, so they think that there's a queen. But I just shake them out here. The foragers will fly back to the old location not find the hive there and they'll beg their way into the hives around. Laying workers, well, they'll try to beg their way into this coffin hive which has three strong colonies in it. And they'll kill them. You'll be able to come back and find the laying workers here 20 minutes later after all the rest of them have flown off. Another frame with a bunch of bullets on it. Yeah, I've already went through the, the whole hive before I started the video to make sure there wasn't a virgin queen in here, just or a laying, work, a laying queen that hadn't got mated yet. No queen. You can see how they're already graduating toward the comb, but that's not gonna help them any. Like I said, I will try to save a strong hive. But to me, this is just not a strong hive. Even though you see a lot of bees, that's not a strong hive. Some of you new folks might think this is a strong hive. This is a very weak hive. Just from what you see me shake out. That first frame I shook out that had all the bees on it, majority of them had already flown off. See these girls, these girls are actually coming the wrong way. They're trying to come back to the back lip. Now there's a bunch of boys. They should be going to the front lip because the entrance to the hive's in the front. They're mainly trying to get out of the sun. We'll take a jump back over here to where they originally were. Now they're gonna have fun. These are all your foragers. This hive was sitting right here. They're all coming to the back of this hive because this hive is facing this way.
I just stood the lid up there and you can see all the forages from the other side coming in, lighting on that because I was blocking the way. But yeah, they're all coming back to this hive. They'll eventually work their way into this one or this nice strong one next to it. But that's a simple and easy way to deal with a laying worker hive that's too weak to try to save. Like I said, I've tried saving it four times. Three times should have been enough, but I had extra queen cells at the time, so I put one in there. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Hit that like and subscribe if you're inclined to do that. And hit that bell if you want to get a not notification every time I put out an educational video. Sometimes they're interesting information. Sometimes they're just like the last one I did, a swarm trap rescue where they built on the outside of the trap. Showed you how to cut them off, use fishing line to put them in frames and stick them in a box. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. I am.